Today I'm going to show you the best apps that you should have installed in 2019. A lot of these are not popular, yet they're still extremely useful. That's why I chose them to be on this list. I didn't want to show off basic apps that everyone already knows about like Instagram, Google Maps, WhatsApp, etc. So enough chatter, let's get into it. Blocksite is the first app on this list. This is a great tool to block apps and websites that distract you. All you need to do is type the URL or select the apps you'd like to block and once you enable it, they'll be blocked. Simple as that, it won't let you visit the websites on your Chrome browser or open the apps you've selected. There's even an option to block adult sites automatically. The app and extension also have a password protection feature that is intended to make it harder for you to get into the app or website that is making you procrastinate. You can also schedule when you want your sites or apps to become blocked. Within work mode, you can temporarily block unsafe content by using their timer and every website or app you block can be synced with your desktop with their Chrome plugin. They also have some premium features such as preventing anyone else from uninstalling the app and redirecting you to a different page if you end up on a blocked site. Their plans start at $2 a month, but they do provide a free trial so you can give it a try for free. Overall, it's the best app and website blocker you can install on your phone. Volume control panel is another must have for those who are still on Android 8 or are using a device that still doesn't have the new Android 9 slash 10 volume slider, such as any Samsung device. This app lets you obtain that new volume slider. Sure, it's not an exact replication, but it's pretty close in comparison. You can even expand it to control multiple volume profiles at once. You can customize it, such as turning it dark, showing a screenshot button, starting it collapsed or expanded, and more. And they have a premium version to unlock even more settings, such as changing the starting position, the color, excluding it from apps, and more. I've been using Daywise for a couple of months now, and it's a great way to stop getting interrupted by unimportant notifications. It'll stockpile all of your unimportant notifications, such as games, apps that you rarely use, etc. And it'll notify you about them in batches throughout the day. That way, you will only see essential notifications instantly, such as emails, text messages, missed calls, etc. And you can choose how often you like the batches to come in. You can even batch some of your contacts so only important ones can get a hold of you right away. If you have a ton of screenshots and aren't sure how to organize them or can't seem to find a specific one, then check out Firefox Screenshot Go. Not only can you organize and see all of your screenshots in one spot, but if a screenshot has text, then you can search for specific keywords to find it quickly. On top of that, you can extract text from any screenshot and then copy text for further actions like search for products, open links, etc. MIUIFI is the perfect solution for anyone who is having trouble reaching their status bar with just one hand so they can toggle a quick setting tile or interact with the notifications. All it does is throw all of your notifications and quick settings panel to the bottom of the screen for easier access. With a single swipe, I can see and control all of my notifications, including the music player. I can control the brightness or even the volume of any profile. And it also displays important info that is also on your status bar. Swiping upwards will expand the quick settings panel to quickly toggle system settings, and you can customize the tiles to add in new ones or rearrange them. You can also change the theme of the entire panel and notifications, and you can customize a ton of more options within the settings of the app. Not a bad option if you continuously use your phone with one hand. I'm sure the majority of you don't use split screen mode that often, not because it's useless, but because it's annoying to set up and unless you have a tablet or a giant phone, it's tough to do anything on two separate small screens. That's why I recommend you check out Split Screen Launcher. Now it's not going to make your screen bigger, but it will create app shortcuts on your home screen to instantly launch two apps directly into split screen mode. Just open the app, select shortcut, name it, select the top and bottom app, save it, and in the menu that pops up, choose add automatically so the shortcut gets added to your home screen. That's it. Now every time you tap on that shortcut, those two apps get opened in split screen mode automatically. Keep in mind that some apps don't support split screen such as Instagram, and unfortunately this app can't solve that. For those of you who use Uber or Lyft and can't decide between the two, why not use both with any ride? Within the app, you choose your pickup location and destination, and it'll compare the prices between Uber and Lyft, so you can select the cheapest ride possible. The fares are the exact same, and you can even call a ride straight from this app without having to open Uber or Lyft. It's incredible. Obviously, you will need to sign into your Uber and Lyft account, but once you do, the app goes straight to work. Looking for a fantastic weather app that looks extremely beautiful? Check out Appy Weather. 
Not only does the interface look stunning and unique, but it also provides the forecast in a conversational way instead of just throwing a bunch of numbers on the screen. The main page shows you a timeline of the current forecast, upcoming weather events, advisory warnings, sunrise and sunset times, and more. Plus you can expand each card to bring up even more information. Swiping up on the bottom toolbar will bring up things like precipitation, wind speed, humidity, visibility, and more. Swiping to the left will bring up the hourly forecast, and the rightmost screen has the weekly forecast. Tapping on a date will expand it, and it'll give you all the weather information that you need for that day. It's got everything you'd want in a weather app, and it's free to download, so why not give it a try? Anyways, those are some of the best apps that you need to install right now in 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a thumbs up if you did. It helps out the channel a lot. Also, get subscribed with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on any future Android videos like this one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Kapow!